going on guys this is omar from vader solutions here so we recently just developed a catch cam kit for the gen 1 bta cars completely plug and play and it's highly recommended for any high power car over stock uh, boost levels this here in my hands is part of the kit thanks to vibrant uh, we now develop a kit around this can uh, gigantic can plenty of volume and this is probably the best kit in the market so I'm going to run down the uh, install on everything, the whole kit, uh, what the kit comes with, and the benefits and results uh, after installing one of these guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, anything, email us at support at betasolutions.com or just put a comment below. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys. So this is the kit itself. Everything that's included in the kit is on this table. And why am I using the rubber hose when there's a stainless steel braided option? Well, I'm gonna tell you, this hose is rated for 250 PSI. That braided stuff is rated for a thousand plus. So why would you use the braided stuff when this is plenty? This is what, rated for 250 PSI? Okay. This is 250 PSI over what the entire system is going to see. So, you get it? All right, and plus this is cheaper. I, I think this looks cool. All right, so you get this. You get these three hoses. You get this cap, this T here, these two uh, dash 10 orbs, the flap delete fitting there, the uh, VS PCV delete, this custom made bracket, powder coated black, and this beautiful cash can from Vibrance. This is a badass can. Can't ask for anything better. Got a nice drain here, too. So, the purpose of this part here this deletes the PCV system and uh, basically allows the whole system to VTA, vent to atmosphere, with the help of the rest of this. And I'm gonna show you guys how all this goes together and exactly what tools to use. For this can here, what you need to do is remove these fittings first. This comes to the catch can, but not required for my kit. Just set them aside, throw them away, save them, whatever you wanna do. Don't need these anymore. So now that we have that, uh, take these two guys and you're gonna thread them onto here. Best way to thread them on, first remove the dipstick. And yes, this catch cam comes with the dipstick. Uh, thread this one on all the way. Then thread this on uh, like one thread and then it'll stop right here. And what you're gonna do is hold this fitting, get your 10 millimeter Allen, and then spin it from there while holding this. Well, it's gonna hold up on its own there. But yeah, now you need the Allen key to spin that in. I don't know why I told you 10, it's actually a 12. So take your 12 millimeter Allen, put it in the socket, and then just tighten it by hand. Easy peasy. Tighten it all the way into the O-ring seal, and then go back to this one. Tighten that one as well. Until you can't tighten it anymore. Oh, O-ring seal. Now, the best part about these fittings, this is a swivel. Nice. And then you're gonna want them facing this way, just like that, to avoid the particle filter. Next thing you want to do, put the dipstick back in. Boom. And uh, this is the next thing you'll be installing. This goes, if you're looking at this angle, this goes on the left one here. So what this does, this screws onto here. This tees off to the fitting here and to the fitting here using these two hoses. I'll show you guys once we assemble everything in the engine bay. Once that T is assembled and tightened down, you want it just like that. 
and I love this universal wrench, this universal A and wrench to be specific. Works great. So uh, this is pretty much as much as we could do outside of the car. Let's get to the engine bay now and start putting this stuff together. These are all the tools you pretty much need. Not much. AM wrench, universal. 12 millimeter Allen. Trim piece pry tool. And a 13 millimeter socket. So, man, I can't, can't tell you enough how much I love this tool. It's really tough with clearance wise because these corners here, but I mean, if it fits, it works great. First thing you want to do, remove this guy right here. Super easy, just pull up and put it aside. Somewhere safe. And that's all you really need to remove. Um, now we have access to everything. Uh, we don't so much have to remove other stuff now. We just got to disconnect uh, one, one or two things and leave it in place. No need to reinstall. But without further ado, let's continue. So the reason you need this right here is to pry out the PCV cap. Makes it super easy. And just be careful that sometimes it likes to crack and break. That kind of noise is normal. Just keep going around it and eventually they'll come out like so. And it's broken. Who cares? We're not using this no more. And now you're just left with this. This is exactly how we want it. From here, you want to grab this O-ring that's inside the PCV delete cap and put it here. It just falls into place and uh, I like to massage it keep it in place there you go now the delete fitting could go on there just snap this into that PCV area and you'll see two grooves or o-rings no need for o-rings there this is an old design that could be left alone just like that Simply push it in until it clips on like that, and that's installed. So once that's in, that should firmly be in place, it should not move at all. Next, we remove this here. You could just use your fingers, you know come out once you push the tabs but that pry tool will come in handy to push this part just underneath so push those in and it comes right out and just set this aside here so uh, actually before you set this aside this cap that I showed you so this guy right here this goes over the fitting and then you set it aside. Cap it just like that. And tuck it right under the harness. And you can just forget about it. Next up, this is fitting right here. This fitting goes in this port. It's held in by the two O-rings. And just slide it in until it hits that stop right there. I usually cut this off and then push it further, but it don't matter. The two O-rings are in there and it's perfectly sealed. Then you get the shorter line. Puts the 150 degree part on the valve cover. Screw it in by hand. And it will be just like that. This stays in place here. Uh, this way when we put the cash can on. This will just go right on. Now that that's done, 
we got to unbolt this guy right here and that guy right there. 13 millimeter. Set this aside, don't throw it away. This is for the bracket that will go right there into place. Just have to push down on the harness there and it should line right up. Once you line that up, put the bolts in by hand. Go ahead and torque it down. Perfect. A little dirty, but that's all right. Now we can mount the catch can onto this bracket. So use the provided hardware with the catch can. It'll be in the catch can box. Um, slide the catch can underneath the bracket in between the harness here and the bracket. Put the bolts on top like that. Then bolt it down using the provided nuts that goes underneath. Now that the can is mounted, uh, first thing you want to do is run this line. What I like to do is just loosen this about halfway and then get this on there. And this will be a little snug. And then uh, that's when you just use this guy, tighten this bad boy up. Then you should be good to go. As you can see, it's just getting tighter. So. That's all we want. Finish that up, move on to the next hose height. Looking good. We can move on to the next one now. Let's, let's get this one done. It don't matter which order you go in, but I'm just gonna go, go with this one right now. So we're gonna install this outside hose first. And what I like to do to get this in, make life easier, swing this fitting towards the front of the car. And then go ahead, hand tighten this fitting. Don't tighten all the way. I'll just get it all the way in by hand until it stops, just like that. Then swing it back that way. This way it clears the surface area of the PCB delete cap. Then you put it onto this fitting right here on the T. And like I said before, put it in by hand. And once you get it to a good point, then you tighten it. All right, now that it's hand tight, let's tighten it up with the uh, and the rest of the gun. Not too much force. It doesn't need much. We'll go back over here. Doesn't need too much. And then we'll tighten this guy up too while we're here. Now, last hose, this guy right here. So I made a slight modification to this hose during install of this uh, kit, during the practice run of this video. I realized that the lengths were off. So I made a small revision. I will update it uh, after tonight, actually. Now to make life easier, I'll put a 45 here. At first it was straight to straight, but it was a little too tough to install. So I just converted this to a 45, to a straight, make life a lot easier installing, and I'll show you. Put the straight on first by hand. Should go in pretty smooth. Nothing tricky here. All the way until it stops. Give it a good snug. Then use that 45 on the last port of the catch can. It should go in pretty smooth, no tricks. And once it's all tightened by hand, go ahead, grab your wrench and snug everything down. All right, now that you snug that up, you're pretty much done with the kit. Look how badass that looks. Now, uh, don't be alarmed if you see any smoke come out of that. A little smoke is fine. This is a high compression turbo E85 car in most cases, which is completely normal. It's just relieving crankcase pressure. And the best thing about this kit, not only does it have a lot of volume in that can, but 
It does not recirculate oil vapor. Oil vapor deteriorates octane rating. You do not want that. That causes uh, timing corrections, detonation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Big no-no. A lot of people will tell you, hey, just recirculate it, this and that. I don't recommend it on a stock car, yeah, but uh, over stock boost applications, it's a big hell no for me. That's pretty badass paired with our VAS, the VS front mount intake. So this kit fits any Gen 1 B5DA car in the F chassis. Not too sure about the, uh, the G20 or X3s, but you know, F30s, F22s for sure. And the F36s as well. Any four, two or three series. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, this is basically all you need to do in terms of cash can kit. No other kit required, one and done, all you need. If you guys have any questions or concerns, like I said before, just email us at support at Uh, You know, shoot us a comment down below, like, share the video. Uh, I'm trying to support the BPDA community as much as possible. And a kit as badass as this one is just a start. Uh, I got more to come, as you can tell. I have the intake, I got the dump tube for these cars. I got a few things and I got a bunch of things coming out. So keep an eye out. I'll be posting more videos like this. And I got another kit like this coming out for M54 cars and Gen 2 B58 cars for you guys with Supros and M340s. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, folks.